Hello, this is Rupinder Syar and welcome again to Spartan Tutorials. Today we are going to talk about RNA's protection assay, which is kind of an attractive alternative to primer extension assay that we just discussed, along with RACE, which is rapid amplification of cDNA ends and nuclease mapping. These four techniques are considered very good for mapping transcription start size as well as transcriptional end size, so three prime ends of the mRNA. So let's discuss the RNA's protection assay. Now, RNA's protection assay was developed by Kaizen Daniel DiMaio in Tom Miniatis lab back in 1983. And here you can see the original paper. The idea is pretty simple. We are looking at hybridization of RNA, anti-science RNA to the mRNA. And then we are trying to digest it and determine the position of the transcription start site using that RNA-RNA hybrid. So what we do is we clone a small region of that gene that we are interested in, usually which is close to the transcription start site and which spans both ends of the transcription start site. So if this is our gene, and this is the transcription start site, which we don't know yet, we choose some restriction fragment which has manageable size and it spans the transcription start site, so it borders them. Okay, and we clone it in a vector in such a way that we use sp6 promoter or t7 or t3 promoter so that it makes an anti-sense rna so that's why the direction of transcription is like this whereas the actual gene is in this in, from, uh, in this direction in this orientation so it will make anti-sense rna if we use sp6 promoter for transcription so we make that we make an anti-sense rna probe we also add alpha p32 and NTP while making this antisense RNA, usually UTP is used and this will uniformly label the antisense RNA probe and that's the point. That's why you see this nice asterisks or stars inside the RNA probe. So there is multiple radioactive points in the RNA probe which makes it a little bit sensitive and uh, very susceptible to radiolysis also. That's why this technique has to be performed within a few days after making the probe. but it is a pretty sensitive technique. Now here is our poly A rich mRNA that we are interested in. It will hybridize to that antisense RNA probe and we will digest it with ribonuclease and it will be protected only in the RNA-RNA hybrid region. So plus one to plus 59. We run a regular page gel with Sanger sequencing we have the undigested probe and RNA is resistant fragment and here is our 59 nucleotide region. Okay, so that's our region and then we can determine its sequence pretty easily. So here you can see the comparison of three techniques and how they can lead to complementary information and we are better sure of our results. Here is the RNA's protection assay. Here is the primer extension assay. And here is the S1 nuclease mapping. So if they all give similar results as they have here, you can be better sure and more confident about the transcription start site mapping. Okay, so this was RNA's protection assay. I hope you liked this video and if you did like it, please give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe to my channel for more educational videos like this. Till the next time we meet, take care and bye-bye.